Hey, what's up? We're back again. Blaze is back. Blaze Griffin back with your boy Jay Hen. Jay Hen Travel Services. He's back. 2019. It's been a minute. He's back. He's back. back. He's review back. Of 2019. And today we are going to be reviewing the Bahama Paradise Grand Classica Cruise Line. Hit that like button, subscribe, check us out. More videos coming. I will be here more often. You know, I know y'all miss me. 2019, he's saying he's going to be here. Me. I know y'all miss Hit me. Hit that so. subscribe button down below. We got a lot of videos coming at you. A lot of traveling. Um, a lot of everything. More life. Remember that. All right. So today, we are going to be talking about the Bahamas Paradise Grand Classic Cruise, which... Your boy Jay Hen took a nice little I was on stroll, it. you know. So, uh, why don't you tell us a little about it? Where'd you guys take off from? We actually took off from uh, Palm Beach, Florida. And I think it was like a, maybe a 40-minute, 40, 40, 50-minute ride. Uh, I believe it was north of Fort Lauderdale in Florida. So, we had to take a, a Uber. Mm, I've never been to Palm Beach, Florida. Heard great things about it, you know. Got to check it out one day. So, um... What are we talking about cost-wise for this trip? Is this going to break the bank or, you know, you got a nice little penny you can save on this? Or what, what are we talking about? No, nah, this ain't going to break the bank. I mean, no offense to anybody out this there. This is like a cruise where you can kind of just scrape up some change and go, you know, it's all over Groupon. I mean, it's all over the Internet. Sometimes social media, you'll see it coming through. Um, maybe even your email, spam mails. They talk about it a lot. It's like the one ninety nine. dollars uh, Dollar per person cruise, $199 per person cruise. Um, so, that means Valentine's Day, if you're looking for something nice and cheap, there you go. As, paradise. As we get into <laughs> this, you might find out if it's if it's right for you or not. Remember, that's him saying this. He didn't cruise on the Grand Classic. I didn't go. I, I didn't did. go yet. <laughs> yet. I'm going to take a trip I, myself I went on to it. check it and see. Just to, you know, We're going to see what's going on with everything. All but right. still pretty cheap. Never yeah. has to give it, you know. Get out of town. You never know. It might be cold where you at or something. Go enjoy some sun. You're going to Florida. Damn. Yeah, well, watch this whole review and you can hopefully make your decision off of that. Or you can check out my other videos that I have. I have a whole tour of the ship. Um, have a video of some of the entertainment on the cruise line on my YouTube channel. And I have a, a tour of the actual room that I stayed in. But again, so you will see this cruise uh, featured on Groupon. Mm -hmm. And it's featured as very, very cheap. Like a very cheap cruise to go on so how did you end up on this cruise in the first place since it's so cheap you know well being a travel agent you know sometimes we get uh, a lot of deals or find out about mm -hmm. when um new travel opportunities come about so this is like actually one of their uh first cruises that they were doing with the grand classica ship because uh the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line actually obtained the Grand Classica from, uh, I believe it's Costa Cruise Lines. Okay. And so they were kind of testing it out for one of their uh, first runs. So it's pretty much still in their maintenance. In pretty the much. I guess they were going through some of the uh, tweaking stages of getting everything together, even though they have another cruise ship. Mm -hmm. But because we were like one of the first uh, cruises to go out on that ship, there was still a lot of little things that had to be tweaked out. Uh, um, mm -hmm. And it probably went out on sale pretty quick because um, we still kind of could notice some things like, you know, they, you could still see Costa was maybe plastered in certain places and they had tried to paint over it, but it really wasn't enough to where if you're looking around that you could still see Costa uh, cruise lines and their logos maybe in certain places. So there was still kind of some work to be done. Basically still a work in progress. Pretty much, pretty um, much. Was they at least organized like, you know, the systems and everything like that? Uh, organization, I've never been on any of their other ships, but to me, I think that they need a little bit more organization, or at least hopefully they've gotten it together by now. I really did not like the um, system of getting on and off the boat. You know, I'm used to traveling on other cruise lines. I won't get no plugs card. to nobody, Gold but you know, card. got a little color on this one Gold right here. Card. I got a little color on that one, <laughs> but I'm used to traveling on some different cruise lines. And normally when you swipe these cards to get mm -hmm. on and off the ship, it's like, you know, your picture will come up on the screen where security can see your uh, your face, your photo, mm -hmm. and then everything's done like electronically to make sure they're not leaving nobody behind, make sure they know who's on and off the boat. But with their system, it was kind of like just a white card. Um, I forget if it just had your name on it, but I don't think it had any like real special numbers or anything on it. Um, but what I did notice is they were kind of using clipboards when we got on the ship in uh, Bahamas, and it actually became a real big issue because... I was playing bingo, y'all. And you know you got to pay to play bingo. I'm in there trying to win some money, you know. Mm -hmm. 
and they were paging my name over the loudspeaker. Loudspeaker. They was paging my name. You know, paging my name. I'm hearing paging my name. name. Paging mm -hmm. my name in the lounge all over the loudspeaker. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm not moving. The, you know, the people I had met on the cruise, they're like, isn't that you? you I'm like, yeah, bingo. but I'm not moving. I'm not, not moving. I'm like, are y'all going to pause the bingo game? <laughs> <laughs> no. So I'm staying right here. And so we kind of had figured out they was calling my name and a whole list of people's names because they thought we weren't on the cruise ship. Mm -hmm. And I kind of was asking people when I gone out, got on the ship, I was like, how, how does this system work with them using clipboards and really making sure everybody's on the ship? So you know what I did? I waited until bingo was over. Um, and that's when I went down to check in at the front desk. Mm -hmm. I don't think the ship had moved, but hey, I don't think nobody was in too much of a hurry. We wasn't that far from uh, Florida, so it didn't take us. It wouldn't take us that long to get back anyway. Mm -hmm. But they got to get that system fixed, especially with your president. If you're in the USA talking about this big wall. Your picture don't even show up when you swiping your card. <laughs> and he's talking so about border only, security. <laughs> should you watch out? But I mean, he's talking about border security. You know, I don't know. Uh, well, you know, that's, that's a tough cookie right there. So with the bingo thing, did they at least have a casino, like anything? Because you know me, I like to spend a little money again for a little bit, slot machines, dice here and there, a couple card games and whatnot. Did they oh at least yeah, have they that? had a casino. They had a casino, but again. It was um, still being worked on, and some of the slot machines were being worked on. So throughout that two days that we were on the ship, um, when you walked in, you saw some of the maintenance men or whatever you call the people that fix on the, uh, what do they call it? slot machines, had their little tools out on the floor, so all the slots weren't available. It looked like they still needed to bring in more slots. There were a few table games there. I play roulette. I can't remember if it was a roulette table or not in there, but um, there weren't really that many tables, but they did have a casino. Um, there was a casino on the ship. Okay, so it's still a work in the progress on the casino. So maybe by the time you book your, you know, travels, if you wish to go, hopefully they'll have everything. I would you hope know, so. Up I would hope running, so. You know, it shouldn't take that long. Yeah. I mean, but so, the casino, and it wasn't that big. I mean, I would say it wasn't no more than 20, 30 machines. So again, it's a really small casino. I would say, I say less than six tables in the uh, casino. So if it's a lot of people on the ship, I mean, and yeah, everybody's trying ever, to play in the casino. If you've uh, ever been on a cruise and you know how those casinos yeah. go, it can get pretty, pretty crowded, pretty crowded in there. Pretty if packed. it's a small casino, probably get a little frustrated. Yeah. So, and some know. people, they only go on the cruises, so as soon as that uh, ship gets out into the international waters, they're ready to put their cards in, mm -hmm. put their money in there, mm -hmm. and they're ready to play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about the entertainment. Did they have any like shows, comedy shows, anything like that? Singers, dancers, anything? Yeah, they did have. Um, they had entertainment on the ship. And then one of the good things is just like you know most cruises that you go on, they did put something like this in your bedroom every day, an itinerary to let you know kind of like everything that was going on for the day or for the night. It lets you know about any specials of the day, lets you know what time you were going to get in port, um, whether it was back to Palm Beach or the, uh, the Bahamas. Um, they had safety information on the back as well. So um, they did have entertainment. Like I said, they had the bingo. bingo. They had uh, live entertainers, kind of like soulful singers. Um, probably the, my, the best show that I saw on there, I'm going to give a shout out to Miss Sharon Johnson who does like a, a Tina Turner show as well as a Donna hey. as well as a Donna Ooh. Summer show. So I did go see the Tina Turner act multiple times. So yeah, she was doing all that. You can check the video out that I have on here of her, but her show was excellent. I mean, um, very good show. You know, um, she was really into the mode. You know, vocals were on point. Just stage presence. All that was just was just right. a Shout hit. So I would go see, you know, her show as well as the Donna Summer show. They were just both excellent shows. I okay. mean, if you love that type of music, um, it's pretty good. Pretty right. good. And then they had some other entertainers on there. It's just like maybe somebody gave your auntie a microphone or something. <laughs> and said, come on, girl, get on this boat hey, and start hey, don't singing. Don't my auntie like that. Don't, no, my auntie it's like, sing. come on, girl, get love on this you, boat auntie. and go sing. We love you. You can sing. All y'all. Or, you know, somebody auntie. from the corner pub somewhere at a karaoke room. They was like, get on here and just start singing and start playing on, playing on. Um, yeah. I, I didn't see any, like, uh, production shows. Like, you know, most cruise lines have, like, you know, the theatrical things. Mm -hmm. I don't recall there being any type of shows like that um, Did they have any on the comedy cruise. Shows? They did have a comedy show. And that's one of the things I'm used to going on the other cruises. So I'm used to going on the cruise ship. And most things are inclusive as far as entertainment. But on this cruise, you did have to pay to go to the comedy show. Oh, so there was actually wow. staff in the hallways when you're walking through the halls in the daytimes kind of trying to... Um, 
what is the word, trying to get you to come to the show and sell you tickets to the show. Mm -hmm. As well as they made the announcements on the loudspeaker, like, you know, buy your tickets for the comedy show, buy your tickets for the comedy show. Mm -hmm. And me, I'm thinking I'm on a cruise. I'm trying to spend as less money as possible, you know, on the boat, unless I'm in a casino or bingo, which I expect to pay for. Mm -hmm. But as far as entertainment, you know, I want that to be included in my in my fare. Mm -hmm. So, I guess that's something to take note of, too. Bring a little extra cash if you want to be entertained. Yeah, and if you're somebody that's, like, uh, budgeting or penny pension, again, it might just be better just to go ahead and pay for one of those other ships, like Carnival um, or Norwegian or World Caribbean, because once you get on here, you know, you got to have money at your pocket to go to a comedy show, you know? And as far as, you know, my favorite part of going on a cruise, I'm sorry, I used to be fat, uh -oh. but uh -oh. you got to tell me about the food, man. How was the food? Was it delicious like every other cruise we go on, or was it, you know? No, uh, i say the food was kind of oh, mediocre. Again, I'm going to give it a thumbs down on food. Oh. Um, yeah, the food wasn't that great. I mean, you not even the desserts. Up the food. You listen to me. You cannot mess up the food. That is one of the most important things on a cruise is the food. You know why? He ain't lying. Because it's free <laughs> and you get to eat all day long as much as you want. He ain't lying. The food. I mean, it wasn't that great at all. I mean, it wasn't even uh, great to even look at. I mean, I know they had nachos. Um, I don't even remember, but the food it was not good at all. The breakfast buffet. The buffet it was really small too um they did have breakfast lunch dinner but again it was nothing special nothing spectacular nothing that even paying two hundred dollars to go on this cruise i still would 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 be upset once i get on the ship and see what the food selection is mm -hmm. and then especially if you're someone that has like a strict diet like me i don't eat beef or pork so I'm looking for fish options and good chicken options or good vegetarian options on the hey, ship. Hey, hey, and that really wasn't, uh, oh yeah, turkey, you know, um, options, things like that. So it really wasn't that great just going to the buffet. And, and if I'm not mistaken, you have to pay for some food too? Yeah, to go to the, like the main dining hall and kind of like your elegant sit down dinners, you did have to, uh, to pay, but I ain't gonna say that I had the little plug plug, so you know, I was able to go in and experience that piece. Okay. But again, if you want to get that fine dining piece um, while you're cruising, which you can get on most other cruise lines, mm -hmm. you have to pay extra for that experience on um, on this cruise ship. So again, when you're thinking about making that option of if you should go ahead and get it off a of Groupon or pay that small amount of money to go on here, think about those things. You know, when you get on there, you're still gonna be coming out your pocket for a little bit of entertainment. What and about the, some of the meals? Uh, alcohol? Uh, alcohol. One of the things that was different about this cruise ship on most on some other cruise lines too. I'm sorry for keep comparing this to other cruise lines. Um, I might be a little bit of a cruise snob or something, <laughs> but on other cruise lines too, you can bring your own bottle of wine or champagne, one per person per adult that's of drinking age. On this cruise line, you really you could not bring. Um, any type of alcohol. I didn't check for things like soda, juice, because each cruise what? line too has a limit on the amount of sodas you can bring, well, the amount of water. How do they expect you to turn but, up on a cruise if you can't bring a bottle of wine? Hey, that they got their drink ridiculous. packages like everybody else too, so you could just go ahead and buy a drink package or just pay for your drinks and things like that. I will say though, um, once you do purchase drinks on there, they got good bartenders, so we won't complain about okay, that. We'll get out a thumbs up. You know, hey. if you're trying to turn up, trying to get a little wasted, or trying to get a nice little buzz. Right. The bartenders, you know, they'll pour you up a nice little drink. So it's no complaints in that Shout area. Shout out to the bartenders, man. I love <laughs> no a good complaints. bartender. That's one good way yeah. to make it. Now, that's a way to get you some extra cash. So you might forget about all the other things. You might you might forget about all the other stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. um, You're not going to forget. You're just going to be <laughs> drunk. Remember that. <laughs> that too, that too. <laughs> so how long was this cruise? Was it a couple days, a week, what? A month, um, maybe? No, <laughs> not on there. I couldn't have made it that long. It was <laughs> pretty much, I want to say it was, what, Friday night, Saturday night, Saturday night. So I guess you could say it's like two nights and three days. Oh, yeah. um, it leaves kind of late. So I think the ship uh, embarked, I think it was about 5.30, between 5 and 5.30 that it left. So if you're flying into town, you do have time to, you know, to kind of get up there to the actual cruise port. Um as well as, uh, I think we were back in Palm Beach by like 7 a.m. in the morning on Sunday. So it's a very wow. short uh, so just like a weekend cruise. It's like a good little sense. weekend. Or, or if you're traveling during the week, it's a short getaway. But one plus about uh, Bahamas uh, Paradise Cruise Line is they do cruises every day of the week. So um, they always have a ship leaving out every day of the week. That's one of the things that they kind of 
you know, feature and say that they uh, kind of specialize in. One thing that I would say, too, is a lot of people use this ship as a um, ferry because they do one way. So it's like you can just take the um, cruise line and use it as a ferry to go one way to the Bahamas. So some people were using it and um, traveling to the Bahamas and then staying there like four or five days at a um, all-inclusive or at a hotel um, or at a house at a rental vacation spot or something and then they would come back you know a few days later and then they just take it back as a ferry so if you're doing that this is an overnight thing getting on there at nighttime getting off the next day you know i recommend it for a situation like that okay and um last but not least is it a kid friendly ship is it swimming pools anything for the kids to do anything like that you know, um, or is this just something you probably want to grown folks get away i mean i don't know i really didn't see any kids on the ship like that i tried to go by the kids club and the teens club one day or one evening and it was closed i wanted to get some video footage to share on my channel i didn't see it open i just don't know maybe they weren't maybe there weren't like enough kids doing our cruise time but they say and they had it listed in the activities that they did have activities for uh youth and children but as far as the uh deck I mean, the swimming pool and the hot tubs, I didn't get in them at all. And that's one of the things, you know, sometimes I don't always get in the pools on the cruise, but I will get in the hot tubs. But it's just the top deck. It really wasn't that appealing looking. I mean, the swimming pool, maybe it needed a paint job or something, but it just didn't have that feel like I want to go jump in the swimming pool or chill in the pool or even like Did I want to chill in the hot tubs. Like no that? water slides. Let me think. There was no big screen on the top deck. So I like getting on a cruise ship. That has so like the no huge movie nights, screen no movie up there. Nights, yeah, no not on the top nights, deck. No, they did have like you know sail away parties. So you know people were up there doing the cha cha slides and they played some pretty good music. But it still was just not what I was used to when I go up on the top deck of a cruise ship and just looking at the hot tubs and the swimming pool. I don't think hardly anyone got in the water at all. So that was that was a little strange. Hmm. Um, That's a little telling right there, but. Still a work in progress, so hopefully yeah. they get it, you know. You know, I, me personally, I like to swim, so I would have wanted to get in the pool, but not going to get in the pool if it looks like I can yeah. contract a communicable <laughs> disease or something like Or if that. you're the only one in there and it's, you wondering why ain't nobody else getting in here, is something wrong with the water, you know, you might Did stay clear. Did someone pee in the pool or something? <laughs> oh, yeah, you might stay clear. But overall, the Grand Classic, I would say, because it did come from uh, Costa cruise line like some of the rooms and some of the lounges they do look very amazing i mean like the legends uh lounge and um just some of the other places the main dining hall it just looked excellent and the way that when the windows the curtains are up the way the lighting comes in it does really look like a like a luxury ship so it has some parts that look like you know luxury like you're traveling in luxury and then some parts it's kind of like eh, maybe uh the Bahamas Paradise needs, just needs to do a little bit of work. Okay. And uh, Oh, the room. We didn't talk about the room. I do have a video on here highlighting the room. I had an ocean view room. The room was actually a, a really nice size. I had like a full-size bed, and then there was like a pull-out uh, let-down bed. It kind of looked like it was in a closet. You just slide it back, and then you pull that bed out. So it was a really nice room <laughs> set up. It was lots so of space. Works if you want to sneak somebody back on the ship because uh, they don't uh, have organizational <laughs> things. <laughs> but yeah, they had the room for a, a ocean view room. It was a lot of space. Um, it had a desk in there. You had plenty of space to store your clothes at. Um, only thing that I found that probably was just a little annoying, you know, if you're a guy, even if you're a lady and you got your... Uh, what do ladies use? Flat irons and all that type of stuff. Okay. There was no plug outlet in the bathroom. And it was only like maybe one plug in the um, room. So I always take like a power surge cord with me when I go on cruises and stuff. But, you know, just coming down with trying to shave and stuff like that um, made it a little difficult. I had to shave like right in the, um, the room area and I couldn't go in the bathroom. So the lighting wasn't that great right there as it would have been in the bathroom. But most times, too, I always take, like, some uh, portable clippers that are battery-operated or rechargeable, too, for that purpose. But, yeah, just only that one plug area in the room. So if you're traveling with multiple people, you're going to need to be fighting over those two little outlets right there. <laughs> or you better have a little power surge with you. Okay, and uh, how was the crew on the ship? Like, the people, your room, service attendants, everything like that? Um, I really don't remember too much. They appeared to be, I think they were pretty friendly for the most part. Um... You know, uh, like bingo, I just was a little upset about bingo, too, because we just didn't know what the jackpot was, too. So the lady that was running bingo, you know, they started out saying what the what the jackpot was going to be. And I understand that if people don't show up, they got to make money, too, off of it. But once we already started with the game, 
Tell us what the jackpot is. So, if you had to give it an overall rating, like, let's say between 1 and 10, 10 being the highest, so you would recommend 1 being, don't ever go on this trip, where would you rate <laughs> it if you had to? If I had to, man, for me, like I said, I'm kind of a cruel snob a little bit. I would probably we're say... We're talking it. about if you were this the average person looking for something to do, would you recommend this cruise? The average person, I'd give it a four. A four? I'd say like a four. Hmm. Four. It's pretty, you know, pretty low. Four out of ten. That's pretty, That's not even an F. That's not even 50%. So, <laughs> I will say this, like we said before, they're a work in progress, so hopefully, yeah. you know... Give it a month or two, couple, maybe a year. Never know how long it take. They'll get yeah. it right. Maybe the swimming pool will be finished because, come on, it's a swimming pool, man. We like to swim. Can't yeah. jump in the ocean. Or maybe it'll just be like the other ship that they already got. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would recommend it, me personally. I really I really wouldn't. Um, well, And if you're a first-time cruiser, it could, I think it could even put a maybe a bad taste in your mouth. But again, each person to each their own. Some people, like I say, they were on the ship. They were having lots of fun. And don't get me wrong, I had fun on the ship because I got an auntie that always said, if you go someplace, um, you should be able to make your own fun. So that's pretty much what I did. I made my own fun, got to meet people, just took advantage of the things that I could take advantage of while I was there and just had a mental note that, you know, uh, I don't think I'll be doing this again. Mm -hmm. Unless I need a ferry ride to the Bahamas or something like that. <laughs> you know, I'd use well, it. I'd use hey, it for at that. At least you guys know you always got a job in the ferry industry. Damn it. At least you can travel <laughs> people back and forth. And with how y'all quote unquote unorganized, you never know. Maybe some illegals you might need to sneak in. You never know. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. We don't kidding. endorse I'm that. I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I love everyone. I yeah, love everyone. Yeah. But this has been another episode of J Hen Travel Talk with your boy guest host Blaze Griffin in the building. I will be back. I Give it will up for Blaze in the building. I know y'all miss me. Y'all love me. Y'all want to see me more. My handsome face standing next to this old chip off the old block. And uh, yeah, man. Is that, is that a little dig right there? I am his big brother, so you know, if he got them looks, he probably, you know, he came hey, on, look, fell on down look, for me. Look. But Well, you know what? <laughs> We some handsome bitches. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, check us out. We're going to try to bring some videos to you weekly or even I'll try to post some uh, weekly travel talk videos or us sitting down talking about um, different aspects of travel as well as us going out and filming stuff together um, related to travel. You know, we got a new uh, trolley here in the city of Milwaukee. Or no, it's, I think it's considered a street car. So we're going to be car, doing yeah. that soon, going out. It don't go nowhere. Some people complain that it don't go nowhere. Maybe like two miles, but we're going to go out there. It's cold right now, but we're going to, I Maybe guess, probably when bear the, the cold. Breaks no, we're going now, damn it. We're going to bear the cold. It's still fresh and fish. It's still hey, fresh, and it's still new. We're going soon. Freeze our balls off. <laughs> and we're going to get on there. We're going to ride, and we're going to take you guys with us. Mm -hmm. and you know, as always, hit that subscribe button down below. Check the description if you want to follow any one of us on social media. Yeah, look out for our new podcast coming soon called podcast. The Session, featuring myself. 41, who y'all haven't met yet, but trust and believe you're going to love him. Funny guy. Crazy. Retarded. All right. Yeah. And maybe i get it. Maybe I'll and be allowed no, to be there there. I'm a little no old. Maybe. You there know, is no maybe. A little we older. Need older perspective. They're a little different generation. It's, it's basically going to cover current events. Everything. We're going to talk about everything. So right. be on the lookout for that. The session is coming soon. You heard him. You heard him say it. You heard him say I was going to be a part of it. So all my followers out there, subscribers, if it don't happen and y'all see this little podcast come up, <laughs> blame this dude right here. Blame him and then everybody else that he named. So <laughs> don't worry. We'll be here. We'll be here and we'll be here. And as always, stay traveling, keep it classy, and do your thing. Hit the like button, leave us a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.